Well, good morning, Scrapper and Scrapettes. How are we all doing? All right, so quick vid on field stripping refrigerator. It's a small one. Got it from one of my condos that I go to. And uh, I got lucky with this one here. It's actually clean. And all the trays were taken out, too, which is great. So... Now what we want is down there. So a lot of times what I do is if this does have some stuff in there and you really don't want to open it, just duct tape the door shut. You know, just, just duct tape them shut if you got duct tape or ratchet strap, bungee cord, whatever. Use whatever you got. If you're in the field doing this, it can be done really quick. If you want to get it to the freaking scrapyard, I put it right against the trailer. And now... We're gonna have sealed unit that's got copper in there. It's got a motor inside this here. Uh, it's a refrigeration motor, but there is copper stator in there. So it's up to you if you want to cut it out, or you can turn this in as a sealed unit. We've got number one and number two copper over here. We got a fan motor. <clears throat> we got some wires, and of course we got the drop cord. And uh, you see a lot of people trying to fiddle with these right there. And try to go in this way to get these bolts off. You know, get these clips off. Sometimes they're cotter pins, sometimes they're bolts, sometimes they're clips. The, the, the easiest way to do it. Set up the tripod here. It'll stay standing. Whoops. It wants to go down. There we go. All right. Did I find the easiest way? Give you the best view as we can. This one here appears to be a slide out. So we got one here, we got a nut here, the three eighths. Just quickly take those out. Okay, and then you're gonna have some right here on your nut drive, just it's the same size. Just go ahead, take them all. You're there. I'll well, just take them out. Anything that, anything that looks like it's holding something, just if you drop the screws, make sure you watch where you go. And uh, what I do is I'll keep the two, two or four. Sometimes you'll go in from underneath and this whole thing will drop right out. But I think this is a slide out unit. And there it is. So <clears throat> I already checked to see if this unit had any free on in it and it didn't. Which is a, you know, good thing. We don't want to release the free on in the air. So I will just go ahead and snip the copper right down in there. Snip the copper line. Snip anything that is attaching this thing to the refrigerator. And right up there to the wires. Now, if this was a unit that had a uh, water unit in it, you know, if it, you know, it's an ice maker or a water dispenser, I would try to find out where the solenoid is, which is usually it's going to be wherever the water line goes in. So basically, on these clips, they just come right off. Have a pair of pliers for that. Now you only come off one way. They just pop right off. So you go ahead. You know, hold up your pliers. I don't know if we can see this. And just pop them right off. And then this unit. I need to snip these two lines right here. Now this is steel. The cooler part is steel. This part ends right here is copper. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna snip those right there. I know I'm using the wrong kind of cutters, but it's what I got at the moment. I didn't use the new ones I got from Jimmy yet. But we'll get that off, get the copper. 
I snipped a wire on this here. Actually, just disconnect it. And lift it right off. And there it is. There's the fan. And in the fan, we got a motor. <clears throat> of course, you got the drop cord, which currently is still underneath. That's all right. So we're just gonna tear these wires off right now. Just cut them. We'll come back to it after. And the June bugs are out like crazy today. So we have this here. We've got the fan. So we got the copper solenoid right there. Put that back. <clears throat> Grab the wire. And then. I will slide this right back in and then using the same two mounting bolts put it back on because sometimes well like this one here is there's your wheels so if you're trying to roll this around it's not going to roll around too good because the, uh, what you call it, you know, you ain't got no wheels on it. I just lost the magnet in my bit. Oh well. So, that's really about it on a fridge. I mean, but the great thing about it is, is that a refrigerator, if it is clean or empty, that's storage. This refrigerator is storage all day long in the trailer. Uh, like today, I'm going to do a scrapyard run. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some room in the trailer after I clean up this dishwasher. Just got a hold of an old dishwasher. So, we have a copper motor right here. We got some wire. We've got a solenoid right here. And we have a solenoid right here. That's copper. Copper, copper. We got the wires. We got the motor if you want to tear it off. And that's really about it on a dishwasher. There's really not a lot to them. I just go after the quick stuff and get it out. Then we gotta clean up the rest of the trailer, load it up, go from there. But that's really how easy it is to take apart the refrigerators. That easy, that quick. So let's go ahead, let's subscribe. Let's leave a like, let's leave a comment if you want. Let's give it a thumbs up. Let's be safe out there and let's do whatever it takes. Later.